Hi Robert with Oxy Dry, <clears throat> and uh, today I am uh, doing a carpet that I've done a number of times now, probably at least maybe five or six times uh, over the years, and uh, it's this is a nylon carpet. It's at least 15 years old, maybe close to 20, um, and uh, I do recall the first time that I saw it, and a couple times even after that. There was um, some very bad stains on this carpet, but I've always managed to get them out. And um, the carpet had been getting maintained with steam cleaning, of course, and uh, wasn't looking very good. But then as soon as they had OxyDry come in and clean the carpet, then, uh, well, game over. And we've been doing it ever since because it cleans better, dries faster, and lasts longer. Um, and um, overall the carpet, considering the age, is actually not in bad shape. Um, as long as they keep maintaining it, it'll still be here in five years. As opposed to replacing it with a polyester, which in five years is probably going to have to be replaced. Anyway, <laughs> that's the story about the uh, what's going on with these uh, polyester carpets these days. But anyway, um, so I'm going to be cleaning it again obviously and uh, probably for more times yet so let's go to town here uh, I remember the last time there was a very bad stain just right where almost where the chair was there a big coffee stain that's gone never came back we got that out no problem so I'm um, cleaning with Nanomax two ounces per gallon I have a fiber um, a hogs hair fiber pad on the machine right now and so I'll go over the whole carpet applying the uh, solution scrubbing it in as I go and um, I only pre-treated the more obvious spots that I could see use the B4 one shot of B4 pre-spray and um, other than that, I did spray a little bit right in this area and down the hallway uh, from the trigger sprayer. Just let it, just to let it uh, get loosened up by the uh, pre-spray. But uh, anyway, this carpet, these uh, older nylons, they do clean up very well. I actually did one yesterday, which was uh, either a I think it was a second generation, I'm not positive, uh, generation nylon, and it was uh, 48 years old. So, uh, and it cleaned up really well, other than the very uh, obvious cooling and shading and wear effect that was happening on it, but that you can't undo. But over, uh, otherwise the carpet, the color came right back, and. You know, they could really make the carpet last that long if they want to. You know, and it's kind of funny, this particular carpet here. Um, you know, it wasn't considered a high-end carpet by any means, and yet here it is, more than 15 years later, still very presentable. Now, one of the funny things, the, uh, the lady I was talking to when I got here, she said, when our kids uh, come home after I've cleaned the carpet, they always say, oh, what a wonder, the carpet looks wonderful, it looks like a brand new carpet. That's kind of funny. <laughs> the kids even notice. <sighs> anyway, they do have a dog, and there was what appeared to be maybe some pee pee marks over here. I pre treated them with uh, proxy, and they, um, you can see one right there a little bit still. Hopefully the proxy will make it fade away completely, plus there is uh, ClO2 in my uh, solution, as usual. And between that and the proxy, it should make that yellow staining disappear. If it's still there when I do my final grooming step, I will, pre I will treat it again.
another uh, lovely day here in the Okanagan. We haven't had rain for a long time. Which I guess isn't a good thing, but... Uh, Anyway, the weather's been uh, great, sunny every day for a couple of three weeks, I think. Um, I, I do see rain coming up in the forecasts within the week, though, I believe. We're expecting rain, and temperatures are dropping a little bit every day. It was uh, three degrees this morning, which is Celsius, which means that, uh, and for us, um, Celsius means that zero would be freezing. Although we're getting we're getting frost now in the morning a little bit. But anyway, this carpet uh, it, it cleans very well. Every time I do it, it's uh, you know it's just one of the nice things about nylon carpets. Um, they're actually becoming less and less common now. Uh, carpets that I clean, you know, 10 years ago, almost every carpet I cleaned was nylon, and now, as, as I'm cleaning carpets that are five years old and less, they're almost always now polyester, which is uh, interesting to see and disappointing, <laughs> actually. But uh, that's... Uh, as a, that's progress for you, I guess. <laughs> anyway, we'll head over this area. This is the most uh, worn and soiled areas right at the top of the stairs and into the entrance into the kitchen. So we'll slow right down here. Apply a little bit heavier. Don't need to get crazy with applying solution. Just, just make sure there's enough there to emulsify the soil. I certainly don't want to wash uh, anything into the backing of the carpet. But just uh, make sure I've got enough moisture there, solution there to do the job and uh, get the uh, fiber pan to really scrubbing those yarns so it will lift and separate the soil from the carpet fiber. And forward and I've got something interesting going on in this closet here which I think well I don't know what it is it's, uh, anyway, it's, oh, actually it looks like it's coming out I pre-treated those I hit them all with the uh, before pre-spray well you can definitely see it working you can see it sort of um, smearing as it dissolves and uh, the fiber pad goes over and it's loosening it up and emulsifying it so looking good something got spilt in here looks like it's already pretty much come out See that one a little bit. So we'll let it sit for a bit and I'll get it when I come back. Kids here and, uh, and a doggy. 
He's that big buggy to carry. Huh. I think I met him before once. doing really well as usual. By the time I put the, uh, the Iron Man pad on, which I'm going to be switching to in a minute, every area of the carpet when I come over with Iron Man has been sitting for, well, 10 or 15 minutes, I guess. So that's plenty of dwell time. You can see a fair amount more wear right here at the top of the steps. The uh, the uh, yarn has um, lost uh, most of its uh, texture. It's no longer a twist. It's more of a furry looking appearance. Which is what happens over time as the carpet is worn. So, we're going to go just back in here in a little bit. Now. One little mark there. some color and uh, these marks so uh, if there's something remaining when I'm finished I will uh, put some proxy on there as well but that one almost completely gone I can just see a little bit of color there so it was something that um, who knows what it was but there's a bit of a color added stain going on there too and that's where the, the proxy will finish it off I have the steps to do as well. Extraction step. One of the things that my customers are almost telling me is um, as I get back to clean the carpet repeatedly, is that they, if they've been getting the carpet cleaned by steam cleaning in particular, they will tell me uh, all the time they'll say the carpet stayed clean much longer after I cleaned it with the oxy-dry process and that's standard for our process to hear that and uh, one of the main reasons is because this system is not washing and pushing and pressure washing the soil into the back of the carpet because when a carpet is sprayed with the um, 
when the wand goes under the carpet and the trigger is pulled with steam cleaning the uh, water that strikes the carpet fiber at 300 to 500 psi normally will immediately um, dislodge soil from the carpet fiber and it first pushes it down deeper and then the suction which happens you know second or two later will draw up most but not all of that water and soil that's been dislodged and so there's always something pushed into the vacuum and if you've ever had a carpet replaced that's been repeatedly steam cleaned you take a look at the back of the carpet and you will see there's uh, the evidence of the uh, repeated steam cleanings um, staining the back of the carpet with the dirt that's been uh, pressure washed into the backing it just can't help but happen but anyway um, not to say that you can't get a carpet steam clean and it look good because it's obviously it happens all the time but uh, one of the big problems is most carpet cleaners, most steam cleaners, will almost never pre-vacuum the carpet. And if they would do that, that would really make a big difference to the end result as far as uh, the carpet not only cleaning better, but staying clean longer because that particular soil that they would remove with a pre-vacuuming isn't then going to be driven into the backing when they do the actual cleaning with the pressure washing but most of these uh, unfortunately most steam cleaners don't take the time to do that but they know every one of them I'm sure know full well that that's um, the correct way to do carpet cleaning and in fact if you know they'll often say that their system steam cleaning is uh, warranty approved which in most cases it is however it's not warranty approved if they don't pre-vacuum the carpet so while they make that claim of being using a warranty approved for your carpet but then they don't pre-vacuum they actually avoid the warranty by not pre-vacuuming so oh the irony and the uh, dishonesty actually see there's still a bit of a yellow stain there so when I do the post vacuuming if it's still visible then then I will treat it again with the proxy there was a couple of other yellowish stains here and they actually are no longer visible so it is working but of course the proxy doesn't work instantaneously normally okay now I just have to get underneath the couch here that all the stains are coming out is is normal particularly when I've repeatedly cleaned the carpet because I always include a protector as part of our cleaning and uh, so um, if there are marks that happen stains that happen on the carpet after I clean it and I come back and clean it again they will release from the carpet fiber much easier and uh, much less likely that they'll make a permanent stain because there is a protector that's always included with oxy dry. 
And there's no odor with this because uh, the uh, CLO2 removes odor. So we're deodorizing, but not odorizing. That's another thing that many customers will comment on how when we clean the carpet, there is no odor associated with the cleaning. So that's looking fairly soiled, although not bad. So we'll do a side B and head back down the traffic lane with that. Next customer that I'm heading to has uh, specified that they are uh, wanting to have no odors with the cleaning, and that's one of the reasons why they called us because we do advertise that our system is either odorless or low odor. But um, if someone specifically says no odor, then I make sure that I do not use anything with an odor because I a couple of my spotters actually have a bit of a smell but I don't have to use them usually but the Nanomax which is our normal cleaner is uh, there's virtually no smell to it Side here. I think the lady actually works out of the home and she's sitting there a lot of the time. Although it actually looks pretty good, but we'll just run over that a little bit extra. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I will just uh, reposition up at the top of the steps take this machine down and then I will do the steps and then do my post grooming and then I'll be done and then I'll be on to the next one so let's uh, take a peek at the B side of this pad So that was one side, and then I flipped it, and that was the second side. Looking good. So I'll post vacuum to finish, and uh, and then it'll look wonderful again for another year or whatever. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good day.